Hello TT Scale Model Railroad fans. This here is my latest layout. It's not completely finished. Again, I, then again, what, what is ever finished in its entirety. This is my new 3 foot by 6 foot, well, actually 30 inch by 6 foot, TT Scale layout. It uses Kuhn Track, or if I'm pronouncing that right. It uh, comprises two of the uh, starter sets of track, along with about eight or nine pieces of flux track in its entirety. And there's, uh, no, give or take on that, because not all pieces of flux track are used up. But as you see, it is a work in progress. The three foot by four foot with no switches or anything like that is still around. It just isn't being used as much because, well, this is the nicer, newer layout. On the layout today, we have a small variety of equipment. As you can see on the far left, you can see my uh, modified BTTB Class 107 diesel that uh, needs couplers replaced after an incident with the last train show with the kid trying to uh, slam it around. The engine still works, just gotta replace couplers. The problem with Kuhn track, though, that uh, relates to that engine is that being how thin the, the uh, rails are, as far as gauge is concerned, height is concerned, rather, uh, 72 gauge of memory serves. Uh, the deep flange on BTCB tends to strike the bottom of the tie uh, plates, which makes the engines run very un unreliably. The next level will probably be using Tilly track to say, based on the fact that the Code 83 rail is taller and allows for more equipment to be run uh, on it nicely. And there's a couple of Lionel uh, 1120 models. The Saturn MTB uh, SA 1200. A 1 to 125 scale, so it's slightly undersized model of a uh, aero train LWT 12. I do plan on powering that up eventually. And over here on the inner loop is my Penn Central SW7, uh, not SW1200 rather, with a couple of flat cars and a caboose that's been painted teal. And on the main loop, the outer one, is an HP Products 462. Now, if you'll notice on both inner and outer loops, they both use the uh, wider radius Kuhn track, which isn't very wide in relation to the 396mm radius that is offered by uh, Tillig, but it still works quite nicely for most things overall. This, if you have some deep flanges like BTTV equipment, it just won't work at well at all. Now, that being said, let's run some trains. Blend if you would. This one to this one? Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's older than you. Yep. Yeah. 